Welcome back. Vice President Yamil Shibajo has joined the presidential race as he officially declared his intention to contest the 2023 presidential election. He made the declaration in a short video broadcast shared via his Twitter handle after months of speculation. The vice president said he had served as Nigeria's vice president under a true Nigerian patriot. Uh, president Muhammad Buhari Oshibajo will be contesting uh, the APC presidential primary against Bola Ahmed Tinubu, uh, Minister of Transportation Rotimi Amechi, Ebony State Governor David Omahi, and Governor of Kogi State Yaya Bello. The Vice President was once appointed Attorney General of Lagos State in 1999 by the then Governor Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and he held the position till 2007 implementing several judicial reforms in Lagos State. Now joining us to discuss this development is Michel Agatise. He's a political analyst and Ayo Dele Adewale. He is the immediate past executive chairman of Amor Dauphin local government area in Lagos State. Gentlemen, very good evening to you and thanks for joining us. Good evening, good evening. Thank you for having me. All right. I'm sure you've both seen the, the, the interview or the clip of Bola Metimlo being asked, your son has joined the presidential race and he says, which son? None of my sons is old enough to contest the presidency. Um, the, what, what does this mean to you? I'll, I'll start with you, uh, Mr. Dewele, former uh, chairman of the uh, of Amor of Iloko Governor. Does it mean that uh, Tilbu is now disowning um, his political protege, as it were, uh, the vice president? Well, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, you should uh, look at that um Video very well. I look at the context in which the question was asked. Uh, somebody approach you and say, Oh, your son is starting a new TV station. Of course, you know that if the children you are giving birth to uh, do not have the financial muscle to own this TV station. So, apparently, we needed to respond in the context in which that question was asked. So, I shall be very right to have said, uh, He does not have a son that is old enough to, 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 to declare for a presidential ambition. So it's not a place to have said that. Hmm. So, so you don't feel, are you saying he's not aware? I mean, that, uh, uh, but, but, but I'll come back to you. Uh, I'll come back to you. Let's bring in Mitchell at this point. Mitchell, are you there, please? Yes, I am. All right, all right. So um, do you agree with, um, uh, with, with the point of our, uh, your counterpart on this program? And what are your thoughts, basically? Is, is Tinwood is owning officially? Um, uh, the vice president. Well, how I see it is that, um, to a large extent, it is the case that it is the general public that has put that appellation of godfather and godson in respect of the relationship with Professor Yemi Oshibaju as the vice president and um, Bola Ahmed Tinubu Asiwaju himself. Um, there is no doubt that the relationship between them has been a symbiotic relationship where Tinubu to a large extent has helped the political career that we see for Professor Oshibajo today. But I believe that um, the statement that he made, you know, maybe it actually affirms the position that many in the Oshibajo camp have held that, well, it has been a symbiotic relationship rather than a godfather, godson relationship in that context. I believe that the reporter who asked the question had asked it, trying to elicit a response, right? And uh, I don't think it would be too beneficial for us to dwell on whether that was being disowned, right? Or saying that, you know, he, he didn't quite agree, particularly because um, Swagger, that Southwest agenda, right? Which is really pushing the agenda for um, Asiwaju himself, has come out to say, look, yes, we see that the vice president has declared we welcome him to the race. And it is just to ensure that the right candidate speaking for the APC emerges. So let's move beyond, you know, whether godfather, godson and the like. And um, let's see if indeed um, we can see any upset <laughs> in the uh, primaries that we're seeing coming up very soon. Mitchell, could you have could you have foreseen that um, Yemi Oshibajo will take on his political um, benefactor, if you want to call it that, um, for to, for the position of president? Could you have imagined that in your wildest dream 
uh, you well, know, last year and the year before the last? Yes, um, I, I would have actually. I, I really would have imagined this happening. Um, I may not have seen that both of them would be in the ring fighting for the same position. I had always imagined that it would always be a kind of relationship where even if um, Oshimbajo had declared, you know, Tinubu would still be in that role as benefactor. But again, in Nigerian politics, as we have seen, right, um, positions don't remain entrenched. They tend to be flexible. And we see that from time to time, you know, relationships between erstwhile political, um, you know, should I say bedfellows may sometimes degenerate. And in other instances, they may remain as a healthy relationship, despite the fact that that benefactor relationship may be developed. And that also comes across based on the maturity of the candidates, right? There are certain times where a political individual may feel that they have come into their own politically and they can stand for themselves. And there are other instances where there may be a misalignment between the views of two political entities, in which case it is then the case where they have to ask themselves whether loyalty to a person should trump their own personal view as to how the state of affairs... But, but what, what do you think? Them. Should loyalty to a person trump your own personal um, interest or agenda? I believe it's a fluid question. Um, it's not one that we can always give a final answer in respect of. Um, I think what should what we should always look out for in terms of a person's character is whether the person remains loyal to an idea, an ideal, and certain principles, such that when a person begins to mm -hmm. depart mm -hmm. from those principles that person is loyal to, the person can then have flexibility to move right. away from. Right. However, um, one should always remember that, you know, at the end of the day, with respect to human beings, what really then is loyalty? Uh, if it is the case that, you know, one is actively working against the interest of the other person, then it becomes problematic and we should look at the character of that person. Right. However, a situation like this where the APC has, you know, invited all, um, you know, people that are qualified to contest for this office to so do. And to the extent that we don't see any bad blood in how this campaign is conducted, um, then I think it's all well and good. All right. All right. Ayodele Adewale, um, is, is Vice President Emi Oshibajo, um, you know, stepping on political eggshells? In, in other words, is he, is he sort of biting the, the hand that fed him? Well, I will speak to you from the point of uh, an ideological uh, background where some of them have come from. You see, it is very, very wrong uh, to have uh, tried to to jump the um, the, um, the process, the process, and of course try to jump the the stream of, of leadership. Uh, if you remember. That uh, Aswadibala Ahmed you know, will have to sacrifice his own comfort, he sacrificed his own ambition for the love of country. When it was not right in this country to have a Muslim Muslim ticket at the, uh, the election that brought in President Buhari at the, at the onset. And he was given the opportunity to look within to bring someone that can support the president to making sure that we put this country back in its rightful position. As why you knew very frankly well that he needed to bring in someone that will be a team player, someone that will operate from the angle of, uh, of, 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 of comradeship. And that was why I believe that among the ranks and facts, he decided to go for a Christian and a lawyer and somebody who will work as a team player in the person of Mr. Yemi Oshibaji. And that was how he came to be. And of course, it was a surprise of me that uh, Ashwaji could choose him 
And if you also remember how actually I discovered him, it was a, a program, a lecture program, when he was uh, presenting a paper. And I surely got carried by, by his presentation. And of course, they leaned out to him to call him to join his cabinet. Then, in, uh, I think that was in 1999, thereabout, and uh, the journey began. So if I was to be the vice president, I don't think I would join this race. Right. Permanently because, because Asuaji is very cerebral and he put in a perfect team and he sacrificed for the love of country in order to push me forward for us to work as a team. So what should have been done rightly is that you allow Asuaji go, you come to support him, and we all work for the love of country. I will make this country greater and better, like it used to. All right. Uh, Ayodele, I'm sorry, uh, Michelle Agat Agatsi, you've heard from uh, Adewale Ayodele. He said that indeed the vice president has jumped the political queue. And um, he's, he's biting the hand that picked him up from nowhere, basically from a public lecture and brought him in, into governance and um, pushed him forward sacrificially to be the vice president of Nigeria. So, uh, I mean, do you see the vice president as someone who is being ungrateful and um, not being loyal and not sticking to the script? Thank you, thank you for that question. And um, I, with full respect to um, Comrade Ayodele, and I see the point that Comrade Ayodele has made and I respect the point he has made, actually. And indeed, if this was a business that um, we're talking about, I would align fully right, with the point that Comrade has made. However, where I disagree, or how I take a different viewpoint, not saying that Comrade's view is wrong, is that this is a situation where, in terms of a vision relating to leadership of the country, particularly as a position that the country is at this point in time. It is often the case that, you know, without having any bad blood, people may come to a realization that as far as they're concerned, they have a different perspective, a different viewpoint, and a different approach in order to take the country into the direction that they see the country coming to actualize its potential. And if that is the thinking that has informed um, Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo's decision, I don't know the thinking that has informed it. I'm not in his <laughs> campaign team or anything of that nature. I have no association with it. But if that is the thinking that has informed this decision, then I think it's the type of thinking that should be respected. Remember that what I said initially was that how we are going to determine whether there is bad character at play here is how we see this campaign for the ticket of the APC um, playing out. Okay. What will be problematic is if it's a situation where dirty laundry is being aired in public okay. and you can see that it becomes a personal vendetta All as right. against an issue of issues. Gentlemen, we, so we, we have to leave that. Yeah, we have to leave with that. Um, only time, Absolutely. yeah, only time will tell if um, this this will be to the disadvantage of both uh, Shiwaju and the vice president, being from the uh, bearing in mind the fact that they are from the same political geopolitical zone and probably the same uh, structure as it were. Uh, maybe this might play out to the benefit of the likes of um, uh, Mechi and uh, you have of course uh, Yabelo yeah, who are from different geopolitical zones and Umahi as well. well. We'll see how it plays out. But thank you very much, Mich Mitchell Agatise and Ayodele uh, Adewale. Uh, uh, we are grateful for your time. Thank you so thank very you much. Having. And thank you also, Comrade. It was great to meet you too. Thank you for, thank you for meeting me. All right. Indeed, and that's uh, the much you can take. Thank you for staying with us on Plus Politics. We round up today's show with a compilation of social media responses to the presidential declaration of Vice President Yemi Oshibacho. Plus Politics returns tomorrow. I'm Kofi Bertels. Good night. <laughs>